Nation. Thank you so much for joining us for a very exciting episode. Uh, we have um, a, a recruit. We have a commit. Uh, we're, we're, bringing, we're bringing you class of 2023 commit, and we're going to try it. All right. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to do it. Obadiah Abbas. Mm, you know what? We're just going to call him Obi. How about that? <laughs> uh, so so mu- thank you so much for joining us tonight. Um, so let's jump right into it. Um, so you're an offensive tackle um, yeah, from everything I'm, I, I've seen on, on your uh, on your recruiting profiles. You're playing uh, right tackle, I think. Is, is I that am. right? I am. Okay. Um, is is that the plan moving forward, or are you just got to get into the program and see wherever you plan out, or have they told you anything about that during your recruiting visit? I mean, it's the thing when you play when you play on the offensive line, uh, and me being six foot seven, it kind of restricts me to like. You know, left tackle, right tackle, but correct. Yep. I'm I'm in to play anything. I mean, if if they decide that I'm a, like a a center, then they decide I'm a center. But I don't <laughs> think that's probably gonna happen. Yeah. You just want to get on the field and make a contribution, right? Exactly. That's all. I'm, that's all I'm trying to do. Yeah. So let's talk about your 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 size. So uh, so you're six foot seven. I'm reading somewhere 280, 280 to two eighty five, two eighty eight, somewhere in that neighborhood. Yeah. Right now, I'm about sitting about two ninety two, two ninety three. Right all right. So putting on. Late. All right. Yep, it's, it's going um, good. All right, good, good. Um, so, so let's talk about your recruitment a little bit. Um, uh, when I was looking at your profile, you had a lot of offers from uh, P five schools. You had oh, yeah. offers from SEC schools, uh, Big Ten, uh, ACC, uh, and you're just right outside of Atlanta. If, if I, if I, uh, yes, sir. Right, right in Alpharetta. Right. right in Alpharetta. Yep. Yep. Alpharetta. yep. So just north of uh, Atlanta. Uh, so you were right in. Um, Georgia Tech's back, uh, back was one of your uh, your your uh, um, offers. It was, um, but in a, in a, you ended up at state. So talk us a little bit through your recruitment process. Um, you know, how did you how did you come about? You know, getting on NC State's radar. Who recruited you? You know, those type of things. So with me, it was kind of weird. Like my recruitment is probably not like a lot of people's. To where I was playing at um, the high school I've been at since I was a freshman, Raven Gap. And it's up in North Georgia. We played in the North Carolina League, though, in the private league. And from okay. freshman year to about all the way through my junior year, half my junior year, I was a defensive end. And I uh, was sitting about six. I was always a basketball player, like, my whole life. But football, like, was mm-hmm. I first tried it when I was a freshman. And when I got through my whole uh, – about halfway through my junior year, the coaches there decided to switch me from – uh, defensive end to an offensive tackle just with my size. And instead of, uh, you know, me getting any play time, they basically said, hey, you're just going to not play this season and we'll switch you to about uh, – we'll switch you to a next year. And I was like, no, nah, I can't do that. So that's when I made the switch to Alpharetta. And I, okay. I was uh, – I was not – I mean, this is the thing. My film wasn't great because the little bit of offensive line play I had was about two months of that. me trying to learn it myself, and I didn't have much training. Sure. I was pretty raw, and I got down here in Alpharetta, and I met a trainer. His name is Willie Anderson, and he uh, played for the Bengals for about 15 years, and great guy. And Oh, oh yeah, I oh, know yeah. that name. Yeah, and yeah. And he uh, basically – yeah, 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 he told me, yeah. like, straight off the bat, he was like, you, you, you're you not good. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, but I'm going to get you good. He's like, he's like I'm going to get you good, and <laughs> We did. We worked for about five months, every single every single week, about three times a week, and we got it in. And he uh, he really transformed me into the offensive line that I am today. And guys, you know, you know, Very coaches cool. are seeing that. Oh, this dude's six foot seven, two hundred eighty five pounds, and he's not like big. He's actually moving. And at first, they're like, "But his film's not mm-hmm. good, so maybe he's just like a big guy that can't do nothing." And I, I basically they're like, okay, we're going to see you at spring. We're going to see you at spring. And that's basically how it went. And my first spring name, there's about 30 coaches there. Coach Garrison being one of them. And wow. I put on, I think, a pr- very good practice because I got out of there with about seven offers. I only had one at the time. And uh, Coach Garrison was not one of them. Like he, 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 was, he was staying in touch with me every single day almost. And he really enjoyed me. But, he, you know, they weren't ready to make that jump yet. And... I came up sure. to how I got to NC State. I was going on a visit actually to Duke, and I called up. Uh, mm-hmm. Yes, it is. And I called up too, to right? uh, Coach Garrison. Yep. I was like, yep. I really want to see NC State. I know y'all have an offer me and stuff like that. I just really want to see it. And he's like, Come on. <laughs> they were on break, and they just basically made a whole visit for That's me. Awesome. It was Coach Garrison. It was uh, 
Coach Sanders, and it was a uh, uh, like like we were all just up there, mm-hmm. and I was with the offensive coordinator as well, and they were not going. Yep. Yeah, they were not Ch- going Ch- to uh, uh, offer deck, me, yep. and. And by the end of it, they were like, "Okay, we don't need to see anything else. We're gonna, we're gonna offer you." They just, they like my character. They said, and they, they, they didn't want to lose me to a team like Duke. And I, and that's no disrespect to them, but it's just not. Yeah, it's just not NC State. And no, no, of course. It was. Uh, yeah. The reason I did pick it was because uh, location was a big thing for me. I, w- I don't want to be all the way across the country in California, where. Um, without any family, stuff like that. And then um, NC State was kind of like that happy meeting because I also didn't want to be like right next to home, which is like Georgia Tech, which is like 20 minutes down the road. And yep. with that, I just basically uh, decided that NC State was a 50-minute flight for my mom and for my dad and for them to get down there. And then um, it was also uh, not that far of a drive for me if I wanted to just come down and – that was a big thing. And then the next thing was the coaches. Sure. And this whole recruiting uh, experience, again, I've only been in this thing for about two months. I was only in it for like two months. I got out of it quick. I didn't I wasn't here to like get all the get all the talk about me. Yeah. I was I was here to get in and I was in to get out and that's it. And I was just trying to find a program and talking to all these coaches, you kinda of realize that they're they're like car salesmen a little bit. And it's their job. It's their job. It's not, Absolutely. It's not anything against them. It's their job. And that was the difference between NC State and Coach Garrison. Coach Garrison was probably the most genuine guy I've seen on this entire experience. Like, the most media people. Well, it definitely so- – yeah, I mean, it definitely sounds that way because, um, you know, you just – you know, you, you you controlled the narrative through this whole thing, right? Like, you know, you 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 exchange business cards for lack of a better term. You know, when they were down there in Georgia checking out, checking you out in person, and then, you know, what you you just like, you took you 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 took a shot. You're like, you know what? If they say yes, I'll stop in. We'll see what's up. If not, we just keep moving on, right? It's not personal. It's business, kind of like you said. Um, I'm I'm curious though, when you were when you were on campus, did you meet with any of the players? Did they walk you around? Did you you know did did you tour the campus, or were you pretty much just at the facility and just did your thing. But just at the facility, and everybody was yep. on break, so nobody was here. It was just they just kind of made it out of the blue. It was like they they really just did that for me real quick, and, and they didn't have to do it again, but they did, and and I love that they did because now yeah. you know I'm part of the Wolfpack, and it was it, it it was just like I didn't meet any players, but I did meet I did meet a good few on my official visit though okay. on my official I did. I did actually get to have that true experience gotcha. of touring the campus. Right well, there. you know, you you say you're very raw. You've only been doing this now, what, about a year or so, maybe a year and a half, I guess, right, You, you since you made the conversion? Yeah. So the one thing, you know, you, you said, you know, maybe my tape doesn't look good or whatever, but but you alluded to it, right, your size, right? The one thing they always say, you can't teach size. Well, we can we can get you in. Can't we can size. We can get your technique down. Uh, but we can't. We don't have the ability in our strength and training program to make you taller. So, or uh, they can add weight, they can add muscle, but they can't. You know, they can't make you taller. So, um, that's that's I think the one great great thing that NC State really does the coaching. Like they they have a really good keen eye, and and, the, and our development program is is second to none. Once you get in, uh, have you met Coach Thunder yet? I <laughs> yeah I did. Uh, that's a that's quite that's quite the man yeah. right there. I don't even know how to. Explain it more than that's because yeah. thunder. Right yeah, there. so you get in that body yeah. by thunder program, and they're gonna make you look like uh, like four when it's all said and done, right? A whole yeah. different man. A whole different yeah, I, I I I've been a state fan for a long time, and uh, I always enjoy watching the body by thunder photos when they you know, they take the the side by side shots like freshman, sophomore, junior, senior year, and it's a complete transformation. And uh, you know they take. They take two stars and make a first round pick, so you know I have I have no doubt that they will be able to do the same with you. But um, uh, some of the things that um, when you when you talk to the coaches and you and you left campus, what are some of the things that they you know said you kind of need to work on to you know get better before you show up? It was just working yeah. every day. Uh, the thing that they they knew that I was raw, but the thing that they loved is that when they saw my film and they saw me in spring, they're like these are two different people. Mm-hmm. Because spring, that was five months of me already having worked with uh, Willie, Big Willie, and they were they're like, if you've already done this in five months, because I was so used to, you know, defensive linemen, we're so used to attacking the field, ball, yeah. and it's like a whole different, it's a whole different getting upfield. Now I'm yep. stopping the dude 
coming up field to me. And it's a, it's a whole different mindset you have to also take on, but it's just going to be learning every day. That's, that's the craft. Like, like offensive line, I'll say it's probably one of the most technical positions on the field. Yeah. And you're basically going to just be increasing your skill and just mastering your craft. That's what, that's what you're going to be doing. Is it um is it safe to say you're probably a better run blocker at this point than a pass blocker or or, or you know I mean I don't want to say you're short but just be basically yeah I'll, at the I'll position. say I'll say that I'm more I'll say that since I didn't really have, I didn't have a pass block uh you'll say like even like a five months ago I did not have one but gotcha I've definitely learned how to pass block and I've definitely became way twenty times better in that department but run blocking that's just a different kind of intensity right there that's just that's just mm-hmm. dominating your opponent. Yeah, that's just I'm, want to, I'm, right? I'm pretty good at that, I'll say. Yeah. Oh, well, look at your size and your tape, what I've seen. Yeah, we're not going to worry about that. I mean, <laughs> um, you know, we kind of joked earlier about your name a little bit because, you know, it's African and, and I, 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 I can't do it. And, you know, you you're not the only that, one. You're you know, not the you're, only one. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. And I don't – look, my name's eat pretty easy, and it makes me mad when people butcher it, so I, I didn't want to dis- disrespect you in, in, in that manner. But – um. You did mention before we got on air that you're from Nigerian, you know, background, yes. Nigerian heritage. And, uh, you know, we kind of joked about, well, you know, you could be the next one, right? You know, we, we just sent Icky off into the first round, at, you know, with the Carolina Panthers. So, Some big um, shoes to fill right there. That's, well, that's, I mean, you probably, you probably about the same shoe size. He was a big boy, yeah, too. He is, so. he is. <laughs> Literally, but figuratively. Have you, have you talked to him at all or anything? Like, reached out on to Insta, him? On Insta, he or, reached out you know, to me when I committed. And he was, he was like, very cool. He's like, First off, you're wearing my number, like, because I'm number 79. Yeah, I saw so. that, too. I was like, because it's funny you say that. I was like, I had to double take, because on your Twitter, I was like, that's it. Oh, that's not icky. That's not but, icky. It, I mean, you, but you, but your sizes are very and similar. And that's, what, that's what Coach Garrison, he was kind of just staring at me when I was taking my pictures, because I was in the jersey. <laughs> and he's like, he's yeah. like, this guy looks so much like freshman icky. It's like, <laughs> like he just kept saying yeah. it. And you know what? I, and he was a, he was a monster. He was truly a monster. And that's just the kind of guy he was. And it's yeah. just watching his film was incredible. Like what he could do to his opponent in the way that he did it. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. But I'll also like to say that I think us Nigerians have a little bit of an edge on the field. It's just, I don't want to, I don't want to do any speculation, but our genetics might be a little bit different. I, don't know. I, I mean, I mean, if you take it away back, say I'm an old guy, yeah. I'm, I'm in my mid forties, but you remember the original Christian, oh, yeah. right? The Nigerian oh, nightmare. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, it started with him and then I'm sure the lineage just keeps, you know, progressing. So maybe, maybe you're the next one in that, in that line here in, in a few years. Right, but, so. uh, um, the one thing, the one thing, let me ask you this. Are you excited to start getting some, uh, syrup bottles? Have you, do you oh, know yeah. about that? Oh yeah. He, he explained yeah. that to me. I mean, us linemen, we don't, we don't have a lot of stats, but we got something. We got, we got one thing. Yeah. yeah. That's we might not get yeah. our name called on the field, but it shows up in the film room. It does. It truly does. I, I'll definitely be looking for that Instagram post when you get. Oh that yeah, first it's going to be coming up. It's going to be coming up quick. Coming up quick. It's- yeah. So let's talk about some of your uh, some of your recruits uh, in this uh, recruiting class cycle. Have you uh, have many reached out to you? Have you have you? Oh yeah, any, we've uh, all we've all building any relationships we've all gotten there? together uh, talking. We have group chats and stuff like that. We've um. We we I've I've met actually a couple in person. I have one at my old school. He's a little bit of a he's not a rival, but they did just beat us in the state championship. So that was uh, who's that Zach? You know Zachary? Or, yeah, Zachary Myers. Myers. He uh he um uh, yep yep he, we uh, had him basically. You know he was on he was on Cry School and I was on Raven Gap and well they didn't beat us in the state championship. Let me let me switch that up. But that was that was a big that was a big rivalry right there. We beat him once, and he, every game it's a hard game right there. But uh, so me and him already knew each other a good bit. But getting to know a lot of the other crews cool. was was pretty good in the last couple of weeks. Awesome, awesome. Um, so let's talk about um, um, enrolling. Are you going to be an early enrollee, or are you going to finish out your full? Oh yeah, school I'm trying year? to get okay. up there on campus okay. as quick as I can. That's that's John do. Cool. Very cool. Um, let's talk about um, let's talk about your personal life, like your 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 hobbies, like what, other than football. I know that's you know a, a big part of your life, but what what other things are you into? Like you know, when you got some downtime. 
Before we continue, I want to take a quick second to tell you about our sponsor, Flatlands Dressup Insurance Group, that has our whole world covered, with agents in five offices throughout eastern North Carolina to help you decide how much coverage you need, offering policies for home and auto, recreational vehicles, commercial, crop, health, life, and employee benefits. They are able to combine options to find a comprehensive solution that works for you. Flatlands Jessup protects the things you love so you can spend less time wearing and more time enjoying them. Find them on Facebook and Instagram at Flatlands Jessup. You can also visit their webpage at www.flatlandsjessup.com. So please make sure to go and check them out. Coach Garrison can, can say this right here. I, I'm pretty good at ping pong, I'll say that. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, we got a couple games in. Uh, basketball is a huge thing for me. Um, I, I, I've, I'm basically a basketball kid. I played basketball since I was four years old, yeah, makes all the way until this year. Oh yeah, you know, I start once I started like getting a little bit too wide. It was a little bit, it was a little bit more difficult to move around that court. Mm-hmm. But it was um, so that, those are two big things for me. Uh, I love history. Cool. That, that was that, I love here. history and, and just studying like even mythology and all of that, and just just. You know, building my building my knowledge every day. Like I'm, I'm always on podcasts that have anything that's just like psychology based or history based, and mm-hmm. it's I'm, I'm always watching those, just trying to engage in in something just to like further my knowledge and stuff. Is that, is that something you might consider majoring in, or are you still too early in the ball game to figure that out? Uh, so my major is probably going to be. So if you would have asked me seven years ago, I could have told you off the bat that. Uh, I'm gonna be a doctor. I, I, I was like, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be a doctor, because okay. uh, I was like, I was like, you know what? Um, that's just what I want to do. But then my hands got a little bit too big, and I was like, I'm gonna hurt somebody, so I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> and then, uh, that yeah, and then I basically I started thinking like, okay, I like arguing with people, uh, and I like history, so why not be a lawyer? You know? So it's just like those okay. two things. And this year, truly, like, taking a good bit of college classes, uh, I took a lot of APs and stuff like that. Uh, it was, um, I did not want to do that. I did not want to go to school for another four years. <laughs> and I just I just couldn't see myself doing that. So a thing that I think that I truly love is talking and communicating with people. And then also, I love yeah. sports. I love sports. Like, sports is, sports, I think, has built the culture of America if we want to really go into it into it and i'm i'm thinking yeah. about majoring in psychology with a, a okay. minor in um, anthropology and communications yeah Ooh, man you're not playing no around. And, and i mean when you have a nigerian dad and a mom from brooklyn yeah. who has about i don't even know how many colleges she went to she went to clemson she went to Brunel, she went to all these places and let's just say school so school is life, pretty then. big yeah so so yeah. I mean I've never I've never gotten to be like in a class like it's just it's just that's what I've just been so there's no there's no other choice but to do that. Yeah, so you definitely sound like a driven individual, right? Like you, uh, I, I I so I have a uh, a 13 year old son and my daughter's a little you know, my daughter's in her 20s, and um, most most people your age don't speak the way you speak like you know their focus is in other things in life right it's about you know just we'll figure it out later you know and you're 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 very focused you know so um i have no doubt whatever you put your mind to that you're going to be successful right so um that's that's really cool what's what's the one thing that you're you're most excited about when you get to nc state like like someone like someone do about or um, that you just you've you, you know there's maybe you've read about like what what is that what what gets you excited about coming either to Raleigh or NC State? Uh, first, just the culture. Like I truly believe that NC State is the next is the next great in the ACC. I'm talking about there's been a history of NC State already. Like it's been kind of up and down. I think right now NC State's about to make a move that I think people are starting to know and. It's about to be. It's about to. It's about to shock the whole, the whole, the whole uh, NCAA, and yeah. I just want to yeah, be a sure. part of that. Like just to set my stone as in that class that we come in, and they already have so many players that are starting to like you know build this place up. There's so, there's so many greats already with it, but mm-hmm. I just want to just just join that culture. That's what I'm ready to do. That's, that's what I'm ready to do. Yeah. Yeah, we. I mean, we definitely have a history of great linemen. You know, Icky being the most recent, Garrett, Garrett, Bra- Garrett Bradbury, oh, yeah. Jim Richter, 
um, Joe Tom. Um, oh no, I'm tr- the bird is the what last name I can't remember his first name, but great, great, um, a great line of uh, of uh, players there. Uh, are you going to wear seventy nine? I, I, that was in your Twitter uh, video that I, I saw. Is that the plan? Or if they, like, if they allow know, me to more... do it, I'm going to wear it. If they allow me to, okay. then then I'm going to wear it, and I'm going to wear it proud. And Absolutely, yes, sir. But just just matters of just how that's going to go. Yeah. Um, have you taken any like like? I think you did take your official, yeah, I did right? Take my or, official. or it was yeah. okay. Um, did you did you come at all like in your junior year up for like an unofficial or or the well, first time you stepped on campus was was just recently when you when you uh, first time I came up was that one time on that unofficial that they did and then gotcha. um, I just did my official in early June so that that was that was the that was the okay. first two times out there. Uh, any plans on coming up during your senior year? Um, maybe for a, a game, oh, yeah. maybe, you know, oh, on, yeah. a, on I gotta a bye make week? It up there or... for, I got to make it up there for the first home game. I got to make it up there. Um, even if okay. I'm not going to be at Rally, I want to go to the UNC, uh, NC State game. I have to go to that. And I'm going to be up there actually okay. to, um, in two days uh, at Alpha Wolf Camp. I'm going to be up okay. there. Oh, Alpha yeah, Wolf is this weekend. This yeah, weekend. that's right. I forgot. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll I'll I live in Northern Virginia, so uh, I'll be down in Raleigh this weekend for some other things. But um, it's it's awesome. I mean, it is uh, like what kind of like have you like what is your thoughts about coming into Carter Finley Stadium, like running through that tunnel for the first time through the smoke? Like like I'm right now when I'm talking about it to you, I get chills. Like like what does I that mean, do for you? I went to a school that had 400 kids my entire like my entire high school life. Like, and then I went to. Um, Alpharetta and I haven't even played it down for them and just walking out there mm-hmm. from my official and like mm-hmm. looking out and it's not even there was yeah. nothing going on like like it was just me and I'm just like <laughs> right. I can't believe yeah. this place for like filled all the way to the brim with college students and fans and everybody just going crazy mm-hmm. that 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 feel, I, I mean I might share I might shed a tear who knows I'm, I might it's, yeah I'm gonna shed a tear for you. I'm telling you, man. Like, like I, you can't even see my armor. I have goosebumps for you, man. Like, um, I was there uh, a couple months ago at an event at night at, at Carter Finley, and they had the lights on the field, and I walked out on the club level and just took it all in by myself. Like, it was just thinking, yeah. man, this is just the best. Like, I, have you ever watched the? Have you ever watched Field of Dreams? Are you familiar with that movie? Maybe Kevin I should Costner? watch. Yeah, it's an yeah, old movie. Like, you know, a great movie though. Yeah, you should definitely watch it. So. Uh, there's a line where he walks out on the it's a, it's a cornfield right and they they tear it down and make a baseball field out of it and there's a there's a part in that movie where he walks out and goes is this heaven and he goes no this is Iowa so you walk out you could be like, is this heaven you like no this is Carter Finley Stadium like, it, it, you know was what I mean? yeah. it was Have a great yeah it was a great um, view go ahead period. That's, that's what it was. yeah yeah yeah. Have you seen that they're going to oh, have all yeah. red lights I, I, coming out? I, I mean, have I have, when we go to the Alpha Wolf camp, I, I got to see this. Like, I don't know if they're going to do it for us. I don't know if they're going to do it yeah, for I, us. Yeah, I haven't seen it in person. Like, I might beg just a little bit, but I have to see that. I have to see that. When I saw the video, I was like, oh, my gosh. Oh. Yeah. I, I showed I showed I showed my wife and I was just getting hyped. I'm watching it on the couch, going, "Let's go!" Like, like, like that's I'm, like they I need to start playing I tomorrow. Like I can't hope um, for like college football to come sooner. Like just to see, just to see it. But it's gonna be good. Yes. Yeah. So, so I got one last question for you. All right. Um, if if you have one message for the NC State fans, what would it be? Like, what do you what do you want them to know about you? What do you what do you like? You create. I'll give you I mean, thirty seconds to create your own hype video. Say. So give give it to me. Well, I'm Obadiah Obasui from you know Metro Atlanta, and we're about we're about to get this thing rolling. Like that's what we're about to do. And just know that I will put in the work that's every up. day. I'll make sure that my class is a class to remember. And we're just gonna get we're just gonna get this thing going. That's that's all that's all I got to say. Just we're gonna get this thing going. I think I think I think Wolfpack Nation is like ready for this. I think I think they're ready to just see like right. the greatness like- that's about to come on for the entire the entire school, the entire city. Yeah. I I am aware. And I are, are you aware we haven't won I'm a championship truly, in four years? Like I don't I, I'm already talk I talk to my yeah. players at my school every day about this and I'm like 
I want y'all to like y'all y'all might want to just tune in just to see like about like what's actually about to happen. And it, it's coming soon. It's coming soon. It's coming sooner than I think most people can actually realize. Yeah. So like like you know how you do those Twitter mo- you get people to do those Twitter things. You need to do one that says OB twenty twenty three coming soon. Like that should be like that should be your post. You know what I mean? Right there. Um, yeah. All right. Uh Obadiah, I, I appreciate this so much i'm glad yeah. that you took some time out of your summer to just hang out with with an old guy that wanted to talk a little football um uh, our fans at uh, toughy talk are going to be excited to see this video they're going to be excited for you coming next year sure. no the pleasure is all ours so uh you uh you have a great summer yes, sir. keep up your good work stay healthy uh best of luck in your upcoming uh season with your team uh wish you nothing but success hopefully you can come back with a state championship and uh, go ahead, real quick before we say goodbye, tell everyone where we, where we can find you at so they, they can follow you on uh, social media. You can find media. me at the official OB on Instagram. You can find me at Obadiah Obasui, just my name right there on Twitter. And you know what? You, you can find me in Rally in, in, fi- in, in five months. That's, that's what I can say. For you. That's Sorry. what's up. I like it. I like it. All right, Wolfpack Nation. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. We greatly appreciate you tuning in. Um, you know, don't forget to do all the fun stuff down below. Like, subscribe, share, whatever it is. But uh, yes, we'll see sir. you in the next episode. All right? Thank you. We'll pack out.